Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the fifth module of fourth semester engineering mathematics. In this class, we are starting our sixth module, numerical methods. In numerical methods, first we are going to discuss about numerical integration. In numerical integration, we can evaluate the integral of the form integral a to b f of x dx, where f of x is a function, a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. For numerical integration, we are discussing two methods. The first method is trapezoidal rule. And the second one is Simpson's rule. Now, today we are going to discuss trapezoidal rule. To integrate integral a to b f of x dx, first we have to divide the interval a b into n equal sub intervals. So, if this is the interval a b, you can just divide this a b as a equal to x naught, then x1, x2, x3, etc xn minus 1 and b equal to xn. So, you can see that the length of the sub interval is h is equal to b minus a by n. Then, find the corresponding values of the function y as y naught is equal to f of x naught, y1 is equal to f of x1, etc. yn is equal to f of xn. Now you can apply this uh, trapezoidal rule as integral a to b f of x dx is equal to h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus etc plus yn minus 1. So this is the formula used to evaluate integral a to b f of x dx using trapezoidal rule. Now I will show you this with an example. Evaluate integral 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus x square dx using trapezoidal rule with a n equal to 5. So the number of sub intervals will be given in the question. So here you can see that the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1 that is a is equal to 0, b equal to 1 n equal to 5 and our function f of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square. So, first you have to find out the length of the sub interval h. h is equal to b minus a by n. So, 1 minus 0 by 5. 1 by 5 which is equal to 0 0.2. So, each sub interval will be of width 0 0.2 from 0 to 1. So, we have to form a table of values of xi's and yi's. So, you can see that xi is, x1 is, sorry, x0 is 0. Corresponding yi, yi is 1 by 1 plus x square. So, 1 by 1 plus 0 square which is 1. Then x1 will be, you have to add 0 0.2 to get the next x1 so 0 plus 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 and corresponding value of f of x will be 1 by 1 plus 0 0.2 the square which is 0 0.9615 then next x2 will be 0 0.4 and y2 will be 1 by 1 plus 0 0.4 the square which is 0 0.8621 same way you have to form the table corresponding to 0 0.6 you will get 0 0.7353, 0 0.8, 0 0.6098 and corresponding to y x5 equal to 1 you can see it will be 0 0.5. So first you have to form this table of values x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and corresponding values of yi. 
Now you can apply the formula integral 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x square is equal to h by 2 here h is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 by 2 into y naught plus y n so y naught is 1 y n is 0 0.5 plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 all the remaining values so 0 0.9615 plus 0 0.8621 plus 0 0.7353 plus 0 0.6098 plus And you can see that this value is equal to 0 0.78374. We can verify this result by our usual method. We know that actually integral 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus x square dx. We know that integral 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to tan inverse x. And if you apply the limit 0 to 1, you can see that it will be tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0. So tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 minus tan inverse 0 is 0 and if you substitute the value of pi as 3.14 you can see that the value will be 0 0.785 which is approximately equal to our previous value 0 0.78374.